Okay, so here's something that I struggle with, and I don't know what the right answer is. I honestly, I don't know um, what the right answer is. I don't think there's really good understanding. And this is figuring out what is the appropriate time to pull out money out of the market if you have some sort of investment. Now, long-term investment is super easy, right? Like, you know, just to let it ride and you just pull out a certain amount every year. But um, if you are using it as, you know, a moderate term investment account so that, you know, within the next, um, you know, five years or something like that, where you're using investments, um, you know, fairly conservative investments, there's not a real good sense of when you should pull your money out, right? And we're sort of thinking about that right now as things are going down, um, whether you should do it. Really, I'm not a big fan of any sort of timing of the marketplace, right? Like pulling out your money um, in, in terms of when it's high or low. Um, I honestly do not know what is the right answer with this. Um, but what I suspect, I think this is what um, we all end up doing is taking it out as we need it um, rather than sort of doing the strategic timing sort of thing. However, it's it's hard. So here's the tricky thing, right? Like when it's going up, you're you're thinking I'm, I should just keep it there. Um, but when it's going down, you're thinking I should I should pull it out, right? Like I, I should sort of stop doing this thing. It's it's easy when you have a long time horizon, um, but it's much harder over a few years of when you should do this and what is the appropriate answer. I don't know. Um, other than, you know, the best answer is to not time the market at all and pull it out when you actually need it. Um, but here's the thing, like sometimes it does go down um, and, you know, you might end up losing money out of that transaction. Um, the only thing that I can hope for, I guess, is to think about it over the long run. That if you continuously do this over the long run, one would hope, right, like you continuously invest. Um, it's not one transaction where you're going to lose and that you should worry about. It's, it's, you know, over the course of many transactions you know, if you have the benefit of doing those particular things, right? So over the course of when you're in your 50s and 60s and those kind of things, um, you know, one would hope, I guess 60s, one would hope that you have a bit of a, of a savings account and, you know, thinking about when you should take it out is, um, you know, it, it's, it's just honestly, it's not clear to me in terms of what you should do. Um, I know that lots of people sort of take money out and put it in a, in, in a more conservative account at certain moments, but it's just not clear on what, what is the appropriate time and when to do that, um, other than sort of thinking about your own life. And then one would hope that over the course of many transactions, as you do that, it sort of evens out and then you're fine from that. That's my only answer. Um, I've been sort of puzzling about this um, in terms of what is appropriate in terms of investments. All right, that's all I wanted to say. That's all I want to talk about. I know it's a little short, but um, it's an interesting problem that uh, I've been sort of mulling over. All right, take care. Bye.